Enzymes are critical for all aspects of living things, and they define really what it is that makes life work. So all the processes that happen inside of your body, essentially without, without exception, are run by enzymes. Enzymes have the property of catalyzing reactions. And the way that it regulates enzymes is, is varied. It depends on the kinds of process that you're talking about. But usually what happens is there's some kind of a molecule that comes back and interacts with that enzyme and turns it on, turns it off, speeds it up, slows it down. And so this constant interaction, this dynamic interaction in your body, turning on and off different enzymes is a critical aspect of how the body works and how enzymes function. The technique that we have uh, been working on here and that Jinglin has developed, uh, we used peptides in part because peptides are readily available. We can uh, have them synthesized in large numbers inexpensively. So for a research project, that was a very good thing to use. However, this is an entirely chemically defined problem, and therefore we don't need to use peptides for these purposes. We can use many different kinds of molecules for these purposes. And the inherent aspect of what Jinglin has done is to come up with a way of looking at tens of thousands of molecules and their interaction with enzymes and then measuring carefully how they change that enzyme's action. So, uh, so in fact, it's a much broader uh, potential application than just the peptides themselves. Overall, I think this is a very uh, interesting experience for the PhD student. You know, I, actually, Neil gave me a uh, lot of the, uh, freedom and uh, independence on the research. So I can, sometimes I can try my own ideas and uh, try to solve the problems into di in different ways.